Hi guys, today we will make this lightning projectile in UEFI 5.4 Niagara and this is very easy, I'll make a basic lightning material and that's it, we have some sprite okay, so let's start this tutorial so let's create a material although you can make the electricity with the ribbons uh, but I will use uh, you can use ribbon but uh, I will just use a custom material so let's make a electric material and for that what i'll do if you have this unlit sided additive okay and you have this extra coordinate okay and if you just mask if you just mask this red channel it will look like this and if you want uh, let me just make this translucent for now so it will show you that black part also this black part so if you want this gradient on both side there are lots of ways and one way is just to uh, just multiply to subtract one and then take the absolute uh, after multiplying subtracting you can see it is in center it is in center but there is negative value so you can just use the absolute so now you will have that thing but we want this uh, this stripe white so there are two ways to do it first it you can take the step and just connect it here and connect this here if i use like 0.5 So you have this, you can increase or decrease this value to make it like uh, thinner or broader. But this is very sharp, uh, we can use it in lightning, so I'll just use 0 0.01. And the second thing, if you want glow, you can just divide it with a very little value and see, if you'll see, this will be a very glowy thing. So we can use both, we can add this, uh, use this glow and then add it on it. So if I just uh, use power just to make this like this, you can use these two things, you, this and this, or you can add. So you have this line. Now you need to distort it. So for that, if you take any noise textures, actually I'll set the blur and I have this noise texture. So if I use this texture here, it is very smooth so it will distort it very smoothly so what i'll do uh, let's go back here copy this texture Control c i'll copy this and paste it here and i'll change something inside this material this texture so i'll just use this texture here and first let's add it here to distort the uvs of this line so if I add directly, it will distort it completely. But I want little value. So I will just use like 0.2. So you can see these curves are very smooth. If you want to stylize, you can do one thing. Uh, just go to your texture. This is very smooth. And search your size. And this is the 1K texture. This is 0. So it's taking that size. If you type here like 60, 32. We'll see this texture has become very small. You can do it like 12. So it has this 12 by 12 pixels. So I'll just save it and then I'll use it. And you can see now here instead of curve, there's these these corners and make it very stylized. If I make this like 0.3, you can see those. So it make it stylized. Cool. Now you can just pan it. And also you can use, I'll just pan it like minus. Okay, you can use point two one, or you can add little value here also. So it will be animated like this. You can make it faster, like uh, one and point five. So you have this thing, right? And now you can use this glow part also if you want. And if I just clamp it, it is 0 to 1, 
and we have this line also very sharp you can add this together if you want although that glow part has a bright part inside it but you can do it so i will just multiply it after clamp like 0.2 so my glow should be very subtle like this and this power may be 1.5 or a 1.3 so we have that glow and also sharp and looks really cool lightning you can also do one thing you can like make these tip and bottom uh, thinner so you'll see this divide has this value 0 0.01 and this tap has the same value so if you take the texture coordinate and take this this well this gradient this green channel it has a gradient from top to bottom black and white you can use sign and just assign two value so we will have the both black that means both has the zero value and just saturate it so it is zero to one okay then you can use a lerp and see if i add this value 0 0.01 0 0.01 in both and add it here nothing will change because this mask giving the same value on black and white but you can make that black part zero and now you see the change looks cool okay and also you can use a lerp let's multiply with the color or you can just use the particle color of course so i'll just use the particle color multiply this this and multiply this and i'll make this additive now okay and glow is missing little bit so i'll just make this value maybe one one point two and this value maybe one yeah glow is back now I'll just use 0.5 maybe. Yeah. So I'll make some parameter. I'll take the dynamic parameter. And first thing is I want to change the speed of this pan per particle. So I will just make this. This is my pan speed. Then I want to change the tiling of this. So every texture, every particle should look different. So I'll call it tile then this distort so it should be like i should uh, i i should have a control how much distortion i want so i just that's it let's save it and i'll just make a niagara fountain effects so on this i'll just use this electric material here so i don't need gravity in the velocity i just need point velocity life maybe 0 0.3 0 0.2 very short and then i'll just use that material i want velocity aligned and also let's make the size little big maybe 60 and also take the dynamic parameter uh, pan speed one tile one distortion very subtle and i'll make the size maybe 200 and 100 and also uh, i'll make this zero one actually 0 0.8 or maybe 0 0.7 and now you can change the color and if you want uh, the core white and the, the glow is blue you can go to the material and after this particle multiplying you can just add this thing or just use this 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 line so we had the glow in this layer and we had this line so i can just add that sharp line on that so that sharp line will always be white so let's see how it looks this looks like this and you can increase the glow Cool. So 
this is what you have i'll make like 100 okay and live music point two point one make it like 80. so this is what we have uh, i'll just make this location very small or maybe just zero and see if you'll see there's something wrong here that is they are not coming from the same point and that is because if you'll see if i'll see this uh, and i'll just make this pan very slow for now so you'll see when i'm distorting it it's moving left it is not in the center and let me let me make the distortion a little less maybe point two so it is almost in center but not perfect if you make the distortion zero now it is in the center so when you increase the distortion it's going to left so if you want to make it uh, on the center you can add some value here so like if i add zero nothing will happen and it, it, it moved little bit so if i add 0.2 it's actually you need to subtract so it is minus 0.1 it is back to the center almost okay so i have this distortion 0.2 and half of the value is there so if you multiply this distortion minus one and then multiply it again with point one that should be this value so let me save it and check yeah it is almost there we can add, add, tweak a little bit but it is almost there okay So you can use it and also I'll make it some little more brighter. You can use color variation if you want and some more brighter. And then I'll just copy and paste. And this time I'll just, instead of this velocity, I'll use cone velocity. And instead of Z, I'll use this direction, X and make the life little more random and make the cone little smaller so you will have this thing you can make life like 0.4 and 1 even now. now you can also go here in the dynamic parameter and randomize all these things so i'll just randomize this like pen 5 to 1 i'll just copy and paste it here and also paste it on distortion i'll make the distortion like 0 0.1 0 0.3 and same dynamic parameter i'll just drag with the alt and copy it here so all the values are now copied and one more thing you can do you can copy first diameter one more time if i browse this is how it looks delete this take again sprite it will come with a default material and what i'll do i don't need velocity and i just need this size and also it should be this and very subtle so there will be a glow inside it and you have kind of projectile okay so in this one i'll make some more randomness so maybe 120 and then that yeah you can increase the spawn rate for just to show you although it's up to you how much you need uh, i think i like it and one more thing i'll do i'll just copy this emitter one more time and this time i'll just reduce the spawn rate like 20 and increase the speed uh sorry the life three and one and spawn it maybe just five 
and life might be I can increase the velocity a little bit and also the so I just want to add some variation I can just use the three so see we have some variation although this is too much I can decrease it yeah now we have so I'll just make this all local and we can just drag into the viewport and ready to use so this is we have so you have this lightning projectile okay so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye